Okay guys, I got another project today. I've got an AR-15 I'm working on today. This AR-15 shoots 762 by 39 and I was having problems with extraction and I found out my extractor broke. You can see the extractor is right here. This piece right here. And the little claw end you can see it's broken off. Should be right there. And what that does it grabs on to the the rim of the cartridge. These are rimless cartridges, but grabs into that groove there and, and extracts it. Pulls it out of the chamber when the bolt cycles. So what I found out, I I had put this rifle together myself. It was a custom build and. Uh, what I found out, I didn't realize, was when they started chambering the AR-15 for 7.62x39, they had to make this bolt face bigger for the bigger cartridge. Like this rifle is designed mainly for 223, which is this cartridge here. You can see the size difference. So they ended up making the extractor thinner and this is the original extractor from when I built the rifle. So I've got some new extractors. I bought one extra and one to put in. This is where I got them <clears throat> from uh, Black Rifle Arms. And they're saying their extractor is this built to this specification out of the uh, 4340 high tensile steel chrome steel nickel molybdenum and so hopefully this extractor will last a lot longer I okay as long as I'm changing the extractor out I figured I would uh, change a couple other parts I had uh, twice a light strike on some of the surplus uh, Yugoslavian ammunition uh, they say it used harder primers in, with the surplus ammo. So I bought an enhanced firing pin. We're going to compare that to the firing pin I have in there. I also bought a enhanced hammer spring. I haven't had too much trouble with light strikes, but just twice I've had it happen. Out of maybe 100 rounds I got through the gun, which is kind of amazes me that that extractor only lasted like a hundred rounds. If you, I don't know if you can see it on video, but it's extremely thin right where the claw was. So we're going to get that out of there. I'm going to change it. I'm going to pull this pin out. And then pull that part out. A bolt, pull that pin out. Okay, and then you can pull your firing pin and your bolt will come out of there. And there's your firing pin, and there's the extractor right there. So, what I gotta do is knock that pin out there. And then I can get my extractor off of that, off of the bolt face. Okay, what I use, I have a, a few uh, nails that I have ground down. Since I don't have a pin punch that's real small like this. And I just push that pin out like so. Just like that. Kind of hold your thumb on there so that pins out. So it comes out pretty easily. And then your extractor comes out and make sure you don't lose that little spring on the back of your extractor. Okay, I'll take that spring off. It's kind of pushed into that little hole there.
Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to compare the two extractors side by side. So the one on the right <clears throat> is the new extractor. Obviously not broken off. So I'm not sure if it is any thicker. <clears throat> it's hard to say. Hopefully it'll last longer. I'll let you know. Let you guys know if I have any future issues with it. It's supposed to be made out of uh, the mill spec steel. There are more expensive extractors you can get. This one was twenty dollars. I was going to try these and see how they work. Uh, otherwise, you can spend up to fifty dollars, fifty-five, sixty dollars on a really good extractor. And uh, better materials, but uh, I thought the uh, chrome nickel molybdenum extractor would work, and that could be this, this. It could be this one is made out of the same materials. We'll find out if I have trouble in the future with it. But uh, that's all there is to it, really. I just put that spring back in there. There is a. There's a pin inside that spring, also. So you make sure you don't lose that. Snap that in. That I might have it the wrong way here. Let's see, there's a big end on it and a small end. That's not. Seem like that hole is a tight as fit as the old one. See how it just snapped in there on the old one. That could be the spring is made to go with this. They did have uh, Black Rifle Arms also had a whole kit where it comes with the spring and all. And I just bought the extractors, so that might be issue it's kind of staying in there so I'm gonna I'm gonna do put my bolt onto it I'm gonna push down on that so the hole lines up you can see that I'm gonna slip that pin in There it goes. Run in there. Tap it in the rest of the way. There we go. It's in there. So, got a new extractor. <clears throat> and then, as far as the firing pins, this is the old firing pin here. Let's take a look and compare it to the enhanced iron pin. So, enhanced firing pin is in my right hand. It may be, it kind of looks like the tip is a little longer on it. <clears throat> like it's gonna puncture into the uh, into the primer a little further. Hopefully, not enough to actually puncture the primer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these on the table and see if there's a height difference between the two. Doesn't seem to be. The length is exactly the same on both of them, but 
you can see where it's machined where the enhanced firing pin is machined back a little further so I would think it would sling through the bolt hole a little deeper Let's see how far it sticks out. Versus this one. The original. Let's see if I can visually see the difference. Just eyeballing it. Yeah. It looks like it sticks out a little further. So that's how you get a little better. It's going to hit, puncture the, hopefully not puncture a primer, but it's going to hit the primer a little deeper. So that's the difference between the enhanced and the regular firing pins. So I'm going to put my bolt all back together here. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I was thinking about installing this hammer spring also. It's an enhanced, stronger hammer spring. But I think what I'm going to do is, since I've got the enhanced firing pin in my bolt now, I'm just going to try it out with the enhanced firing pin and see how that works with that new extractor and that hands firing pin and uh, see if I have any if I have any more trouble I will put the hammer spring in but I'm thinking I probably won't because I only had two uh, light strikes out of a hundred rounds we'll see that may just take care of it just having the new enhanced firing pin in there Okay, so I, when I got my extractor, I bought an extra one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it stored in my Magpul grip. Also got my sight tool, and I'm going to keep that old firing pin. I'm just going to put it in a uh, bubble wrap pouch here. I tried this. And as long as that firing pin's on a little bit of an angle, it'll all fit in the Magpul grip. Have some spare parts. If I'm at the range. All that put in there. There you go. So I'm all set. If I break another extractor, I can use the firing pin to push that old extractor out. And that's all you really need to uh, change it out.